is preaching the gospel. And he's talking about tongues. The guy on the left is interpreting what the guy on the right is saying in English. People ask me, what is one of the main results of being filled with the Holy Spirit? I say, you remember on the day of Pentecost? There were tongues of fire on top of their heads. That is what I believe. Many Pentecostals speak about speaking in tongues. I thank God for that gift. But this is not just babbling some syllables that is speaking in tongues. And while you're listening to the interpreter, listen to how vast his language is and there are no repetitive words that he's using. Do you understand? Because tongue speakers go into a loop and you let them speak for 30 seconds, they're coming back with a loop. That's when you know it's fake. The guy on the left is speaking in tongues. Some babbling babblings, two, three, like little babies. 90% of the tongues I heard in public is like that. It's all fake. Don't believe it. Let me tell you. Genuine speaking in tongues is like a language. See, you, may, you may not understand the language. But if a man is speaking in Chinese here, you will at least recognize it's a language. When I see some people speaking in tongues in some assemblies, that is not any language. That is even the babies can speak better than that. The baby. Don't, don't Deceived by that. When God gives you the gift of tongues, you may begin with a few syllables just like baby is speaking. But just like that baby develops into speaking a language, tongues will become a full language. Tongues become a full language. Not just beep beep bop bop boo boo boo. It becomes a full language. Well, um, spread out language where in, in many cases you you don't even hear repeats like you do in this babbling that y'all have that y'all are doing today so the guy on the left is speaking in tongues but this is a language that he was born and raised under the holy spirit though was using them in acts chapter 2 by taking the man on the right he didn't need an interpreter <laughs> In chapter 2, the man on the right would have been in the upper room and he would have been speaking a, an Asian language where he wouldn't have needed this man. Do you understand? So the fight that I'm seeing with you all, and because I, 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 sometimes I can get, read some of the comments, and sometimes I can't catch them. Y'all talking about unknown. One of your biggest problems is the King James Version. You all eat and drink King James and you can't stomach anything else. It's like if you read any other version, it's like eating, drinking spoiled milk. You start vomiting it out and it sounds strange to your ears because you have been inundated with King James. You have been brainwashed in old Norse 1611. It's not even 1611. It's not even 1611. It's 1700, close to 1800 Old English. The Bible that you have, King James, is not even the original Old English. You can't read the Old English 1611. You could not understand it. I, I have it here. I don't have it out. You couldn't read it. So you, go, you guys fell in love with, this, with the 1700 version and you say, okay, we got the word as if Paul read from King James. That's the problem. 
So you took a word that was added into this version and you ran with that word. It's the same thing with tithe pairs. Uh, walking away from Malachi chapter three with the curse thing because because the uh, the, the people are, uh, are really overly they're judging these people who talk about curses and say okay we're gonna walk away from the curse but let's go over here to Abraham let's 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 preach Abraham tithing you needed a way out you needed a loophole you understand so even though Acts chapter two says that these men spoke in somebody else's language it didn't say heavenly tongues or nothing it says they spoke in one of these other men from across the country language after chapter 2 Acts chapter 2 closed from their own y'all made tongues another kind of language you call it unknown and you call it heavenly yes you did that's the problem the Baptist got it right. So here we see, right here, are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracles, have all the gifts of healing, do all speak in tongues, do all interpret. The answer obviously is no. Because if the answer is yeah, then that means every one of y'all are apostles. Again, it's the law of what I say. So that means all of these answers must be either yes or no. Well, it's obviously the answers here are not yes. So if he even saved this list at the end for speaking in tongues, if all don't speak in tongues, how is it possible that y'all are teaching that it is necessary to communicate to God? And then you guys with your unknown selves, for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto man. Look at that word there. It's italicized. How many times I got to show y'all that? And it's italicized all throughout. In, even in the 1611 Bible, that word is italicized. Can y'all tell me why it's unknown italicized? Hmm? Can y'all tell me that? So if you take the word out because it was added for he that speaks in a tongue, which is a foreign language. Unknown is italicized again right here. Every time you see it, it's italicized. That says something because I'm reading y'all's comments and y'all are trying to tell me that, I, that I'm crazy. <laughs> I ain't crazy. Look at that. There it is again. Italicized. So what is that saying? You got it wrong. You can try your best to try to co convince me that I'm wrong. But I'm sorry to tell you, you cannot prove much of the text in King James without using some outside sources. That sounds heretical to people who are KJV only people. Because... If this is 1611, what did they have prior to 1611? Nothing. So KJV is an interpretation of an interpretation. Take me back to as far as I possibly get or close as I can possibly get to the original. As close as I can get to the first century church. Take me back as far as I could get. But if you're waddling around KJV all your life and you got nothing else, this is why you go ha ta da ya to ba ba and you repeat yourself. ha ta da ya to ba ba every 10 seconds. Because you biblically illiterate and you want to be. Miss me with that. Miss me.